Hi everybody. It's been a long time since I made a video that wasn't a regurgitation of TikTok or a card pull. I just haven't been inspired. Today though, I had a light bulb moment that I wanted to share with you and it has two angles to it, I guess. I don't normally share too many details about my twin flame journey, but I'm going to share just a little bit from my standpoint because it has to do with my light bulb moment today. Related but unrelated? No, pretty much related. Oh hell, I don't know. Let's see where it goes. Like I say, I haven't done this for a while. I feel really rusty. So we have a full moon tonight, and if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I'm very sensitive to the energy. I have had a hard weekend. Yesterday, I was screaming at the universe. Today, I realized that I was empty. I just was empty. Now I talk to myself all the time because there's no one to talk to. And I was getting into the shower and talking to spirit. I say talk to myself, but it's always spirit. I am just connected on a continuous hotline, I guess you could say. And I was saying, I just feel empty. Not numb, which is what I had been saying before, that I just feel numb. And if I use substances, which people would say are used to numb, I'm numbing the numbness. You can see it's been challenging. <laughs> anyway, so I'm saying to spirit, but I'm not going to judge it. I'm not going to judge it as a bad thing that I'm feeling empty. It just is, which is progress for me to not judge it as a negative thing. And then I had to ask myself why I was feeling empty. And had to admit that I didn't want to dig into the grief I was feeling. This goes to the twin flame thing. I'm at the point I have to admit Finally, and you know, if you've watched the Twin Flame videos, I have tried many times, but I am at the point, I understand I really have to accept that this really might not happen. And I just didn't want to dig into that grief. And then I thought, I'm not sure why I still have grief because I have grieved this so often. I know it's not really a loss. So why do I think I have to grieve? I know we're connected on other planes. I know we connect telepathically our higher selves to each other. Well, I don't know his side, but I hear from his higher self or I hear from some version of him through telepathy and I have grieved so much already well I did get blocked again recently I think the third or fourth time and it was at a time I thought things might finally be healing and so it really knocked me off my feet onto my knees so I was saying why am I still grieving I have grieved so much it's like you know, I, I don't want to accept that this may never happen, but I'm finally at the point I know I won't die. What is there to grieve? And then the light bulb moment. It was my inner child. You know me, I'm all stoic and I can act like a big girl, put on my big girl pants and intellectually I know I will be okay, but it was my inner child. 
that needed to grieve because she has been waiting all this time without me acknowledging it because I didn't realize that she has been waiting all this time to come together with his inner child. And you know, if patience is hard for adults, it's ten times as hard for inner children for children. But you know, that's what our inner children are. And I just felt so bad that I hadn't realized, I hadn't been giving my little girl a voice here. And so I said, tell me. It seems like maybe you're angry at me. And that's what it was. My inner child was angry at the adult me. And this is how the conversation went. I am angry at you because you have to be so adult. You have to be so polite. You can't say what you really want. You just act like it's no big deal. You're keeping me from playing with my friend, my best friend. You're keeping me from what I most want. So I am angry at you. You guys, it ripped my heart out. I mean, I'm talking about my inner child as if she's not part of me. She is part of me. I have brought her in. I have integrated her. But I have been being such an adult. So polite. Not wanting to cause a scene. Not wanting to stomp my feet and have a fit. Which is what she has needed to do. So if you find yourself feeling empty. Or if you find yourself angry a lot. And you can't really understand. You know you're frustrated. But does it really warrant you being as angry as you are? This is what I'm realizing just finally today. Is that is my inner child. Because I haven't been letting her express how she feels about the separation. Tap into your inner child and see what they have to tell you. Because we may be adults, yes, but that part of us is just as important. We have to allow our inner children to speak also. Even if they have to stomp their feet and have a hissy fit and have behaviors that would embarrass us if we were to indulge in them. We have to at least let them have a voice. So moon energies are not. It might be a good time to tap into your inner child to see if they have something to say. If you have been empty or angry. These energies don't just affect the adult. They affect the child also. <laughs> 